Okay, okay, we love EDM machines, yes. But how about some extra large EDMs? Connor, we're about to see three extra large EDM machines that are all incredibly impressive. And the third one blew my mind. So Connor, tell me about this model of the AL80G. Yes, so this is our uh, larger size die sink machine that um, sits in the AL range of uh, die sink. So generally we have the 40 and the 60 and this we're showcasing the 80. So it's anyone that's in the sort of large die and mold manufacturer. Okay, in industries, you said die and mold, but automotive? Yeah, anything really. I mean, this particular component, I can't say who it is, but it is actually an automotive moulding. Ah, okay. Um, so you can see a large graphite size electrode there, but then there is the capability, even for large work pieces, to use multiple electrodes, because we have a 32 station carousel tool changer. That's a, that's a large carousel, that is. It is, yes, yeah, so 32 capacity, and then again, you could have a robot, we could go even higher than that. So what's the benefit of having the tool capacity like this? It's just really longevity, the lights out running. So, you know, you're just going to run for a lot longer before the operator's got to break a setup down and set up the next job. So you're making m the most out of the table, yeah, essentially. Yeah, you're making the most out of the space you've got available. Right, and you've got a touchscreen control that's super Yeah, modern. it's all touchscreen control. So this is a bit of a, a refreshed view of the previous software. So this is what we're debuting here. So basically, it's just a new layout, new font format. Everything looks a bit crisper and a bit sharper. Just before we move on to the next machine, right, what is it that makes your machine stand out? I know that, but not all the audience yeah, members. Yeah, generally do. speaking, with, with all Sonic machines, it's a linear motor. So it's the speed in which we can move that motor around. Uh, and as well, <clears throat> because of that, we don't need any additional flushing, especially when we're sparking deep ribs. Uh, and that's just, yeah, with that you get accuracy, so no backlash, no wear through the lifetime And what type of accuracy are you looking at? We're talking sort of this is going to be holding three microns. That is impressive for a part of this size. Yeah. Right, next up, I want to talk wire. Now, Connor, I've seen a similar machine like this out in the industry with a rotary axis. Correct, yep. So, uh, as you know, one of our very good customers, uh, A&M EDM in Smevik in Birmingham, they have an ALC machine with a rotary axis um, on the table. Uh, however, this is our larger size ALC 600. So, if you notice, we have a bigger Z axis. So, this is uh, up to 500 millimeters. That's, a, that's a deep cuts. That's it, yeah. So, up to 500 millimeter cutting capacity. In and, depth. and who needs a machine like this? Really? Uh, anyone that can fit a job that size on the table realistically uh, but we're seeing a lot of the additive manufacture components now so the larger build sizes uh, where they need to get it under the head just purely for the height of the job um, that's really where we're seeing this going to mainly and you've got the famous eye groove technology on this machine so for a machine's capacity to be so big and yet you've still enabled that tech correct how yeah so it's just really with sodic you know we just manufacture things just to to suit the market uh, and the thing out at the moment is really it's about being cost effective that's a big buzzword at the moment so with the iGroove again you're getting that 30 percent saving in your in your wire cost and now with the iGroove plus we'll just slow down the pumps and a little bit more cost saving there as well and you're talking about up to 20 percent cost savings yeah we are you? generally yeah, in terms of electric and then with the iGroove system you've got your your 30 percent saving in wire usage so again, it's almost like you're pushing you yeah, right at that high end of the market with such big machines. Correct. Let's take a look at the biggest wire EDM I've ever seen. Connor, 800 in the Z axis. I've never seen anything like this before. It's a big machine. <laughs> it is a big machine. So yeah, so really, I mean, this is a ALC again. So we're talking real high end of the market machine. Uh, but we've just now got that greater capacity to take an even larger workpiece. And who needs a larger workpiece? Because, I mean, this is blowing my mind and we'll show you, you know, you can see the depth of cut that you're making over here. Yep. But could you cut that from top to bottom? So we can cut through that. We've got 800 mil cutting capacity submerged as well. So it's... Uh, and with eye groove? Correct, yeah. How do you achieve such accuracies of a lot and then have such a large component? It's, uh, again, it's down to linear motor drives, pretty much standard across our whole range and then heavy use of ceramic components. So all the arms, the table upstands, everything uses a lot of ceramic, so thermal stability is key. 
I think if you are in this industry and you really know EDM, you know the prestige and the level of technology that Sodic have to offer. So what would you say to anyone that says, you know what, I need to go for a Sodic? What makes them stand out personally? What do you think? It's the longevity that you'll get through the machine. So you've seen in our showroom in Warwick, you've seen uh -huh. some of the older refurbished machines that we've had back and some of those are 20, 25 years and they're still going very strong and still as accurate as when they left the factory. So you're telling me you're making a sound investment into high-end technology but that's got the longevity behind it and to me all of that makes for like I say a sound investment. That's correct yes yeah. so it's yeah. just you know it's money well spent.